that the best you've got? Extraordinary reports coming out of the Soviet Union. Tales of a being with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal man. As I said, Mr. President, of course I understand your concern, but I assure you, the Luthor Company has this under control. I don't care. Yeah. Kind of. It's one of the. It's one of the um, more famous, I guess, of, of the Elseworlds books that uh, that we've we've mentioned over the years and for a long time. We didn't do. We didn't seriously consider any of the Elseworlds properties just because marketing was like, well, I'm not sure if audiences would get it or whatever. So we took a chance on the Batman Gotham by Gaslight a couple of years ago, which is our first actual Elseworlds book, and that sold well enough so that home video was like, oh yeah, this isn't so bad. We can try this again. So we immediately thought of Red Sun and say, well, let's let's maybe take a shot at that. So. Kind of, yeah. No, you know, here's the thing. If there had been more of that kind of element in the comic, I definitely would have leaned into it more. But it's not really there in the comic. I mean, the comic is weirdly not really terribly political. All of the stuff about ideologies, like oh, Superman's a communist and Luthor is a is a capitalist. That's kind of. It's kind of basic, you know, it's, it's not really about that. Um, it's really more about what Superman would be like if he was an authoritarian, you know, dictator. So it, it doesn't really, you could argue maybe that does have something to do with what's going on nowadays, but, and here's the thing, I, 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 I certainly have strong opinions about that stuff, and if I thought I could, you know, move the needle in the next election by commenting on in this movie, maybe I would do that, but I don't think it would really matter, so. Uh, no, he wouldn't. Uh, I don't think he would like any American president. He's completely against capitalism and democracy. But I'll leave it there. Yeah. Good question. Um, if Here's the thing. I love the original comic. Uh, one thing that kind of always bugged me about it a little bit, and it really, I really noticed it when we read it again, right before we adapted it to, to, the, to the screenplay, is I was a little disappointed by Lois in the comic. When I read it, I think, Lois is a really strong character. Why does she stay with Luthor? He's a horrible, horrible person. He doesn't treat her terribly well. Is she just, did she just marry him because he's rich and famous? I don't get it. So, um, so we massage that a bit so that they at least have a little bit more of a loving relationship and he's not quite as horrible as he is in the comics. He's a little bit more... They actually have some chemistry together. So that's at least a little bit of massaging that we have in the party store. So, yeah.